channel i just wanted to take a couple of minutes maybe 20 minutes to show you a nice uh, haul that i just did some new things that i've bought and um yeah let's get into it um one of the first things i bought is the wayne goss face palette okay i'm calling it a face palette because if you notice i have one eye and a different eye I just uh, made a video on how I used the Wayne Goss eye palette, the Imperial Topaz, um, as a full face palette. I used it for blush, I used it for highlight, I used it for all of my eye looks that I did. And yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it all over the face. So I bought the whole package with all his three eye pencils and the eye but i call it a face palette and of course the three pencils in obsidian which is a very very dark black um precious opal which is a little bit medium brown and the rich hazel which is a dark black brown love all three of them they're very soft and they're very good okay the next thing i bought that i need to show you guys is i like i said in my last video that the um the Gucci um, uh, bronzer that I bought in number three, I felt like it was a little bit too red for me. And I said I was gonna order the number two, and that's what I did, ordered from Selfridges. So let's pull that out. And of course it comes in this little beautiful pink package and the Tarkese here compact. And wait a second, did they send me? Yeah, it's number two, but you know what? I'm gonna have to test this out because it has a little bit of a red tone. I don't see right here from the eye. I don't have them next to me. Here you see the two bronzers side by side as comparison. Actually, I don't see much of a difference. I even have a feeling that the number two on the left side is a little bit darker and a little bit redder than the number three on the right side. But let me test this. Yeah. Maybe the Gucci, bron Gucci bronzers are not for me. I don't know if you can see that. That is a little bit darker than me, but it has a little bit more red, what I like. And I remember somebody saying that all the Gucci bronzers were a little bit red in tone, but we'll have to try that out. I promise you that you'll see me in another video, me trying that out or some kind of styling. What else do we have? Okay, from my bathroom, I bought for the first time in my life, I bought some candles from Diptyque. And I saw this and it was so, so beautiful. As you guys will see coming soon, it is a decluttering, reorganizing, and bathroom makeover, or not bathroom, bath makeover. I have a bath, which is a bathtub and a sink, no toilet, but that's where I get ready and everything was just so chaotic and everything. So, and I kind of changed the accent color in there to a little bit of pink, and I saw this as Paris en fleur. And of course, what attracted me was the pink color, the design, and to accent all my new decoration. I love it, and it smells delicious. I've already burnt it, I've already seen it. I already used it, sitting in the bubble bath, smells delicious. And I can't forget my other bathroom where the toilet is. And I have a neoclassic black and white bathroom, painted the walls black. And I bought from Diptyque de Mimosa. Bought this, so this is perfect in there. Of course, I've used it also. Can highly recommend it, totally fresh, totally delicious. Okay, what else do we have, what else do we have? more from Gucci. I ordered the Gucci fingernail polish. One of the colors, the turkey's blue color. That was on special order. I think they were probably weren't sure if a lot of people would like that color. 
So they, I believe they only produce it when it's ordered. So of course it's ordered, but it takes a couple more weeks before you get it. At least that's what I'm understanding from my emails from uh, Gucci is being produced and was sent to me. But first of all, the first one I bought was the beautiful red they have. Cause you see my red lipstick now. Oh God, I need scissors. Oh my God, I think I got it. Okay. Everybody loves a beautiful red. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. And the color is actually called 504 either Mira, as we would say in German with the Y, or probably in English is Meyer or Kremsen. But of course, Gucci is Italian, so I'm not sure if they would say Mira or Meyer. Look how gorgeous it looks. And even if I don't use it, I just thought it was so cute on my new decoration in my bathroom. My, I keep saying bathroom, I'm on bath. With the pink colors, I think that's sitting on my new console, that's gonna look beautiful. They come in these beautiful little silk ba uh, bags, Gucci, everything. I always love saving these uh, bags. I have like a larger bag with all of these stuffed in them because when I'm ready to pack for a trip, if I need an extra bag to protect something, love them. Love all these velour and silk bags. The second bag, <laughs> I wanted the neutral color I bought this. And this is color 212, Annabelle Rose. Let's see how Annabelle Rose looks. Oh yeah, that's a pretty color. It's a little bit lighter than I thought it was gonna be, probably on my nails. I want my skin color, but we'll see. We'll see, but like I said, if it just sits on my new console vanity in the bathroom. <laughs> a little bit of decoration on styling. I love it, I love it. And I'm waiting for the blue color. That's coming next. Blah, blah, blah. What do we have next? Um, let's get into Shantakai then. Oh, no, 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 no. Along with what I ordered, cause I ordered the new um, uh, Gucci bronzer. I ordered that from Selfridges. Why can't I never get in these boxes? I'm always scared of breaking my nails. I have been hearing about this foundation from Suko. I'm gonna show you the other similar foundation I got, but that's coming. But I wanted to try this, but somebody said this extra rich glow is really nice. And I love a very emollient, but not high coverage. This is the first time I'm opening this, seriously. And I'm starting to see, let's see if I got the right color. Of course, I know testing on your hand is not the best. Oh, feels great on, feels great on. Where I always like to test is here on my chest. Let me get my mirror. Because your face is always a little bit lighter and everything, if you can meet your chest color. Yeah, in the last couple of days, for weeks, we've had a lot of sun, and even though I'm really good with my uh, sun cream, but it's in the same, it's in a good neutral tone. It's a little bit too light for now, okay. And I noticed this is a little bit thicker, and what I've stuck my finger in with the other foundation for the other company I'm about to talk about. But it's not bad, it blends in. It blends in, it's a little bit too light. This is probably gonna be something I'm gonna save for winter. But I'm gonna say that really feels good there. And everything looks smooth and good. Probably with a little bit of bronzy and a little bit darker powder. I can probably pull that off. It's not bad, look how it blended in good. Blending in good, I think that would be good to blend into my skin, uh, into my face also. So, that's this one. Let's make sure I say this right. Suku? Suku. I love Japanese products. They've always done my skin well. Started out as I was very young, Shiseido products, 
um, what was the other one I used to use? Not only Shiseido, but um, oh, my head's going blank. I'll put it down because I know I'll remember it when this film's been when this video's being edited. Um, Shiseido, and there was another uh, a brand that I always used to use when I was a teenager in my early twenties because it just it just set on my skin so well. Okay, let's get into, I'm quite sure you guys have seen, Shantikai had a big birthday um, sale for their founder's uh, birthday, and I wanted to take part of it. And a lot of YouTubers had their codes that uh, I follow or I'm friends with, but unfortunately, the Shantikai.com side only delivered to the US and Canada, and the Shantikai UK side only delivered to the UK and to Ireland. And my little behind sits in Munich, Germany. So I was like, what the hell am I gonna do? So I reached out to one of my, I'd like to call one of my friends, but we've only become friendly, very friendly um, acquaintances through social media. Wanted to also use her um, link for the 30% and she suggested or we suggested together i'm gonna or try to order everything and have it sent to you and then you can use my fedex number and send it to me to germany so can we please give a big round of applause for alicia a kinky sweat because she didn't have to do that she didn't have to help me so nice round of applause yes and in the other direction and tell you she, she needs a third one. She needs a third one. She needs a third one for doing that for me. That was very, it's, I owe her. I owe her for a while of that. And let's talk about everything I got. Okay. For a long time, I have been interested in the future skin. But of course, Shanta Kai, there's, it's nowhere sold in stores where I am. And on the internet, I was always not sure about my color. And then finally she did, sorry, I have cat hair on my lip. She did a video and her color was Shea. I, we're about the same color, but she tends to be a little bit yellow. I need a little bit neutral. And then when she tried the wheat on her face, it looked lighter on her, but with the neutral pinky. So I said, okay, then I'll go for wheat. But then when I went back on the Shantikai side, it was listed in the line of colors, wheat looked darker than Shea. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna order Shea, which I did. And I ordered nude, which is maybe two nuances, lighter than Shea, but very pinky. And I've already tested this and tried this, but when I mix them together, and I've gotten used to that. I have funky colored skin, sorry. When I mix both of these together, you will see, and I've been playing it in a while, it comes out to the perfect color when I mix them together. So, I did good, I had to buy two. But when you see that, look at that. That disappears into my skin. So, I have color, if you're anything close to me that you have a totally pure neutral skin, I ordered nude and I ordered Shea and I'm very satisfied with it. I have to mix them, of course, that becomes a problem. It's not a problem, it just takes a couple of extra minutes, whatever. But um, I think I got it and this is so, I mean, it just melts into the skin when I've played with them on the weekend and you see nothing, you see nothing. But I know that, even with Pat McGrath, love Pat McGrath, but I have to mix 14 and 16 together. Pat McGrath comes from old school, before they had undertones and everything. She's she, she's a makeup artist that was used to having to, to mix colors to get, you get the tone and you had to mix something with the undertone. And I know a lot of people were confused when her foundation coming out, what's my color, what's my color? And I, I was also confused a minute and it took me a second to look at her lineup and understand it. That's why one color was maybe an olive, the next it was a golden or a yellow, and then it skipped over to a red and everything. Basically, I was about a color 15, but the color 15 was too golden yellow for me. 
So I took a 14, which was olive, probably a little bit too like, green toned undertone. And then I skipped up to a 16, it was a little bit darker, and had red tones. But hello, red, green, they cancel each other out. When I mix them, I get that middle 15 tone and the perfect neutral what I need. So some things like that you have to understand and you have to be as old as me and Pat McGrath to understand what we're talking about. Okay, further on Ashanta Kai. Okay, we talked about the future foundation. I have been wanting to try this also. This is Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen Primer. I love sunscreens. I wear at least 50 and when I can get it, always have sunscreen in my makeup but of course you never wear the amount of foundation in your face to uh, uh what what is actually the amount of sunscreen that you need on your face um and i've already tried this only on my hand it has a very soft very liquidy very liquidy i have a really like smoothing effect. I have not used it under my foundation yet. I want to use it with the future skin. Um, but I've just received this and yeah, I'm showing you guys what I got. Next thing I got, the Liquid Lumiere. I got in color Sheen. Ooh, look at me, my hands are slippy now because of the uh, primer. Um, in the Lumiere. Now, I know Alicia ordered it in a more golden color, but like I said, I'm more neutral. So I thought the champagne color is more what I like. Pinky champagne, and I think that's good. I think when I use that as a highlight, either on top or above the future skin, honey, girlfriend's gonna glow. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wait, let me get a little bit. My light's coming through the window here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Gorgeous. Can't wait. Okay, the next thing that I got from Shantikai. I went for one of their eye duos. I am a cold, dusty, love, cold, gray colors, gray blue colors, gray purple everything and it is perfectly up my alley look at that beautiful purple color and that shimmer of course i have some other purple colors i can mix with that but this is the le chrome looks i duo piazza san marco and it's called pigeon marble marble and i cannot wait to put that on my eye oh that feels really creamy look at that Oh, let's put this on the arm. Oh yeah, that's my type of gray purple. That's my cold rocker chick, gray smoky eye purple girl. I can't wait to play with that. I know some other purple colors I have that are mixed with that, or just an over eye, uh, uh, all eye color with maybe a, what I did today, I'm playing with Wayne Goss with the black as a very bold smoky, eyeliner with eyeshadow that's gorgeous it has the perfect amount of sparkle Woohoo! okay now uh, everything so far i've been i'm very happy with can't wait to play with it next Ooh, why did that stick to this i must have a little bit of more magnetic oh, are they magnetic i don't know why they're sticking together okay next i got the the manta the Manta Ray blush because I love very peachy brown peachy every once in a while like a dark you know ruby red blush play with it everything but I thought this and the highlight would be perfect for my skin so I bought this let's wait let me get a clean finger here clean finger let's go in with the pinky oh yeah nice. I think my thumb has not been used yet. This one with the highlight with the thumb. Yeah, that's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it, how it's coming in with the sunlight, but that's a perfect peachy color. 
in with the highlight. Yeah, can't wait to play in that either. I will be doing another get ready with me or just, hey, let's have fun. And then I bought three of the singles here with the different little animals. I got the cheetah, I got the, the rhinoceros because it's dear to me because my sister, she is a veterinarian and the first part of her career, she was spent mostly on um, working with uh, rhinoceros and they have a, a problem with, uh, they have a slow reproduction or cycle or it's hard for them also to reproduce in captivity and she worked on that because you know in the wild the the rhinoceros the rhinos were dying out poachers everything you guys have seen the pictures of the guys with uh automatic weapons protecting the last you know i think he was a wide mouth which is a black no way i'm getting mixed up my sister would know this she would know it better White mouth is considered a white rhinoceros. The one with the pointed Spitzmaul, as we say in German, is a black rhinoceros protecting them. So unfortunately, we don't have any left in the wild and they're only in captivity. So many years of her career and she still is working on uh, trying to produce more uh, rhinos that we don't lose them and they don't go into a stink. So it's one of the reasons why I wanted to support uh, Chantakai because of all the animals they support. I'm a big animal lover. So these are the three colors I got. I felt like these colors were totally me with the smoky gray, a little bit of rose gold, pink rose gold and rose gold. Here's the cheetah. Here is the rhinoceros. And here is, I have to look at it to pronounce it, but I know this animal, pangolin. Pangolin, if I'm correct, is a little, we say in German, panzer, but how would you say it in English? He has, he's almost like a, um, like a armadillo that he has like um, hard shell on him, but in pieces of hard shell is probably like flat grown out, harder fingernails through evolution that grows on him. But if I'm correct, this is an animal that is native to Asia, especially in Malaysia. And through all the, you know, they're getting rid of all the forest and all their, their habitat there, especially in Malaysia and Indonesia and everything with the palm oil uh, industry and they're burning down also orangutans and everything. They're burning everything down, it's sad. Those are the things. I don't want to pull this video down on a sad video, but I'm so happy that companies like Shantakai are thinking about protecting those animals because I know how hard my sister works and how hard I and my husband, we donate money also to organizations that my sister works for that we want to um, keep our earth as beautiful as it is and to save all our animals. Okay, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Let me think. I'll be right back. There is something I forgot. Okay, I am back. Listen, uh, one thing that I did forget, I bought the um, Hourglass Veil eye primer. And actually in the video that I did with the Wayne Goss, I say face palette. It's called an eye palette. I use this, so you'll see how I like this. And then let's get to a couple other things I got to. Went to Armani shop and picked me up some really cute purses for the season. Love me a little clutch day purse. For me, a clutch purse is not something you have to carry at night. I love something small with just enough money, credit card, something you can put your uh, phone in with your jeans and t-shirt. And I thought this was the cutest thing. I love this ruby red. I'm not really a person that wears pink, even though I've been decorating my bath into pink. But I love this little clutch. Isn't that cute? This beautiful velvet. Of course, it has um, a chain in it that I can wear it as a cross. But I love that. Just, just picture a pair of red shoes. You know, a red sandals, a pair of skinny jeans, and a plain white t-shirt, and this, ah, oh, honey, so cute. And the other one I got, 
because I'm also a person that doesn't believe the sequence of Payetten are just for the night. I love taking a nice sequin shirt, styling it with a pair of jeans and wearing it in the day, or a sequin uh, skirt, pairing it with a denim, oversized denim shirt, and some flats, and also wearing it in the day. And I thought this was the cutest little satchel bag in black and white checkered sequins. Bought this. Of course, it also has a uh, long crossbody. But I thought that was the cutest thing. So I picked these two things up from Armani. Of course, I'll give you some styling Instagram shots with my new styling, with my new little finds. But you guys, I think that's all. I just wanted to share with a couple of haul things um, that I've bought lately. Okay, I, I, I forgot that I did buy the Hourglass um, setting spray. I have not used that yet because it's summertime. I used another setting spray that has an SPF in it that I'm always touching up, adding more SPF during the summer. But I do want to try that soon. But those are the new things for me to pack out. Another big thanks to Alicia, Miss Kinky Sweat. Yes, as uh, Casabiana J says, Miss Sweat, if you're nasty. Thank you, love, for helping me get the things from Shantakai and uh, the things I really want to support and things that I see are going to be beautiful on my skin. I can't wait to play with them. My candles from uh, Diptyque, my new Gucci color. We have to play with that again. My new Gucci fingernail polishes. Maybe we'll make a video of me going down to my nail artist and her painting that on my nails. But I think that's all for now. And like I said, stay tuned to tomorrow or the next day. I'm gonna put up the video with these nice eye looks and my whole face from the Wayne Goss palette. And until I see you next time, bye.